What's up everyone, here is Akta, welcome back on my YouTube channel. I finally decided to regress, to convert my Lucifer into Lucia because uh, I already had some feedback about her, she was performing great and now she's gonna get a rework tomorrow and she's gonna be insane in my opinion. Even if I uh, did a mistake in my uh, <laughs> previous video, I'm really sorry about that uh, because uh, it is not her basic attack who, who is, which is gonna be enhanced but in fact her second skill. Uh, so her basic attack will remain the same but she can still inflict her three bleeds with the basic attack and so in my opinion thanks to the buffs she's gonna be just insane and we are gonna have a look to her potential before the buff and tomorrow uh, I'm gonna make another video in order to see uh, what uh, increased on her if she is better than before and how much better she is gonna be so uh, this is the occasion to do this kind of video about the conver conversions stone as you can see right here it is going to work this way you have to pick one hero one mythic hero you already have you click on replace right here and then you have this uh, pop-up if you click if you try to click on replace as you are gonna see you're gonna get this pop-up on this one, it's the same as when you want to regress a hero. It asks you to remove your hero from your advanced arena lineup, uh, classic arena lineup uh, in the sanctuary and to unlock the hero. So as you can see, this is what I did and let me accelerate it just a bit. When you click, this is what, what is going to happen. So you have the animation, you have the new hero here, then you click return and this is what you get. It explains to you the level, the star level and the exclusive level of the hero have been inherited. So as you can see she has 5 exclusives directly because my Lucifer had 5 exclusives. So equipment and artifacts are all returned to the bag and the consumed skill, scrolls and emblem materials are returned. So uh, it's not directly uh, on her. Activated auras will be dissembled. You're gonna see that right after this uh, this animation. Uh, runestones and coins consumed for activating and upgrading the level and their star level with, will be returned. So if I accelerate it just a bit, yeah, I was reading it. So as you can see, you get everything back and for free. I mean, you, you don't need to spend some gems in order to dismantle the legendary aura or the other kind of aura. You get all the tokens so you don't lose 30% uh, of what you uh, invested or I mean it's 25% uh, maybe, yeah. When you dismantle using gems, you get only 75% of the resources back. You get all the runes, but you lose some tokens and some, um, and some coins and some gold. So I got everything back and then I build her again. So I already farmed her emblems and I'm going to show you some content with her right here. So uh, this is the, the Elemental City stage 75. Before I made a video with me using the same team with Lucifer. We are going to see the difference and also if we can beat the boss with that because I'm pretty curious about it. Uh, because the boss was super hard with my Hizaro. Is she going to perform better than my hero Hizaro? We are going to see that. But um, first of all, let me show you her stats. At the moment she has a 45k attack, normally she has 42k but I have this legendary aura on her because I uh, dismantled the aura I had on my uh, Hizaro in order to put this aura on her so she gets 12% uh, more attack and effect hit. She has a 65% crit rate, not that much uh, crit damage so uh, direct damage are going to be nice but um, the most part of the damage will come from uh, her dot damage because as you can see I have a lot of effect hit and a lot of mastery on her. Uh, the reason why I have a lot of effect hit on her is because uh, her basic attack needs effect hit in order to uh, land the debuffs. Uh, if you land a crit using the basic attack you have a 70% chance to inflict a bleed but it's not. if it's not the case you have a 50% chance to inflict a bleed and in both cases you need to have effect hit to land bleeds on this skill and this is why I have a lot of effect hit. I want her to land and debuffs uh, bleeds in the future on the guild boss number 6. 
uh, because he has a 100% resistance. Uh, you don't need effect heat to land bleeds on the second skill and the ultimate. And this is really interesting. So enough talk, let's try her potential. So using Ben Austin, as you can see I have also Nicola, so he's gonna lower the resistance of enemies by 50%. She's gonna push you the target and inflict bleeds up to 3 layers of bleeds at once. So let's have a look. Okay, only two. Uh, he failed. Nicolas failed to inflict the uh, resistance down, but it's okay. Two, it's still okay. It's just a pursue though, so it's the same as um, his arrow does, but but with a higher chance to apply it. So now let's freeze enemies with my uh, ulcaster and uh, increase the duration of the freeze. And now let's try the ultimate here and see how much bleeds bleeds can I inflict. The the enemy has nine bleeds already this is pretty insane so let's try to inflict some bleeds on another one three more bleeds and now let's lower the defenses of enemies and increase the attack of Lucia and so she's gonna deal more direct damage and bleed damage so normally now she's gonna be insane with that so let's use the second skill two more bleeds normally three more bleeds five to eight 8 bleeds, this is insane, I love this, I love this. Look at the damage, it's doing better than my Lucifer at the moment. So let's do this, inflict some bleeds to the right, and let's control them again. Buff myself, just in case, inflict more bleeds to the right. Lower the resistance of another enemy, so it will be easier to inflict bleeds. Inflict more bleeds to the right. And uh, I think they are gonna die. I'm not sure, but I think they are probably gonna die thanks to the bleeds. So let's try to inflict more bleeds uh, here. Control enemies. Okay, they are frozen. Fine. So let's inflict more bleeds. Keep my skills for the next wave. Bleeds to the left, 7 bleeds at once, this is insane. More bleeds to the right, also it's great, It's bet I think it's better to use Daughter with Ben Austin because uh, if you use the Pursuit on the ultimate, you don't kill enemies. If I, uh, When I was using my Lucifer, uh, it was always killing enemies and so um, I lost, I, al I was always losing the cooldown of the skill on Ben Austin and that's, that was pretty bad, in my opinion that was bad. So inflict more bleeds, damn bleeds, this is just insane, I love that. So both enemies are gonna die. Okay, so next wave. So let's do the same as before. Only two bleeds. He resisted the resistance of my um, Nicolas. Let's control them. Freeze them one more turn. Inflict more bleeds to this one. More bleeds. And feebleness, why not? Increase my attack. Uh, resistance down on this one. Inflict some extra bleeds on this one. Seven bleeds, this is awesome. In one turn, ten bleeds on the enemy in one turn thanks to her ultimate and Ben Austin. This is just insane. So now I can focus another one. So let's lower the resistance uh, here, inflict some bleeds, control enemies again, buff myself just in case, more bleeds, yeah I'm gonna put some more bleeds, lower the resistance, and uh, this one needs more bleeds in order to die, so I'm gonna target this one. Uh, now it should be okay, so let's target this one instead. Freeze enemies. Oh, two enemies are not frozen. I, it's gonna be hard now. Uh, let's uh, inflict some bleeds uh, here to the right. 
Mm -hmm. Do I have my freeze on Ucaster? No, I don't. Uh, what should I do? What should I do? Uh, I'm afraid that I'm gonna lose a hero. Uh, let's try. Let's try. Let's try and see. Mm hmm. Or maybe I can do that. No, even if I do that, I'm not gonna play again. So let's increase my attack, and let's see what is gonna happen. Okay, I lost her. I lost her, so I couldn't test until the boss fight. So I'm gonna try again and cut the video, and let's um, let's try on the boss. Okay, so here we are on the boss fight, on the boss wave. We are gonna see the potential of Lukea and if it's gonna be better than with my Hizaro. So I'm gonna do the same as I did with my Hizaro. So let's do only Pursuit with Ben Austin. Resistance down, perfect. Three bleeds. With my Hizaro, it was only two bleeds with all Pursuit and counter attacks. So here, I don't want to use, I don't wanna use my uh, skills. Uh, with Catherine, I have to survive on the first turn. So let's do simple basic attack with him. And uh, here, okay, but I I don't have Nicolas exclusive too though. 
uh, exclusive one. So I'm not gonna profit a benefit from uh, the speed buff on my heroes. Uh, so here, maybe let's try just to put a shield on my heroes. So they stay alive, and now my Lukia plays. So the boss has a lot of layers of, on him, and she's gonna inflict seven bleeds and three more bleeds. So I lower the stack of the boss. I'm gonna buff myself. So normally I should be able to uh, sustain. Uh, I'm gonna lower the speed of the boss. So I took almost no damage, that was perfect. So now I'm gonna do that, inflict more bleeds. Uh, should I use this one instead? I think I can inflict just a two, only two bleeds with that. A bleed the target has, the, t the third stage is guaranteed to land a crit. Yeah, this is only two bleeds on this one, so I just want to use the basic attack to inflict as much bleeds as I can. So let's inflict more. And as you can see, the boss is doesn't have a lot of stacks at the moment. And so it's working pretty well with Lukia. Okay, I'm still taking a lot of damage, but it's okay. Uh, let's do... But I don't have the speed buff on my heroes, and this is a bit problematic. Mm. I think I'm gonna keep this one for the next turn. Yeah, that was a good idea. But now I have one more time my ultimate, so now I'm gonna inflict a lot of bleeds. Yeah, this is just insane. I love this. So uh, I'm gonna increase my attack, heal and buff my heroes. The boss had 6 layers on him before his turn. Now he has uh, 13, but I'm gonna lower his speed, and now it's gonna be perfect for me. So let's inflict more bleeds. Basic attack. Inflict even more bleeds. Uh, shield. More bleeds. She is insane for this boss. She is just insane. I'm not taking a lot of damage, just because of her, she applies a ton of bleeds. So, um, should I buff myself this time? No, uh, no. I'm, I'm just gonna uh, use my basic attacks for now. More bleeds, only two layers, zero layers on him. Increase my attack. And now I'm gonna apply my buffs. Because the boss won't have the speed buff on him anymore. And she's doing so great. Okay, let's do that. And now look at this. Zero buffs on the boss and look at the damage. She is insane. She is just insane. And the boss is dead. 166 turns. Look at the damage she dealt. It's just amazing. She is awesome. I love her so much. So that was all for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If it's the case, as usual, please like, comment and subscribe and then see you in the next one. Bye bye. Infinite Magic Raid. Play to slay.